So we have this button in the top right hand corner and this is what's going to be used to um, save the data. So save the photo, save the username, save the bio that the user actually went ahead and updated in this view controller. So I'm just going to drag this button into our source code. I'm going to switch this to action because this button is going to well create an action of saving the user's information. So I'm going to just say save um, profile data. That seems pretty good. All right, so it's an IB action. Um, and that's going to fire when this button is selected. All right, so let's think about this. What I've been doing lately is I've been putting the major functions of the code in its own function. So here, a load profile data. And I, I wanna stick with that tune to keep this button pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is just right below it, I'm just going to put another function that, and what we're gonna do once the user selects this button is it we're going to fire off this function that we just created. So I'm just gonna copy this and just paste it in here. And I'm just gonna write out exactly what we want to do in this section. Um, so that way we have a better understanding of exactly where we need to go. Now, if we remember what we have is the user selects a photo from our photo library and what we want to do with that is then a store into this Firebase storage. So let's write that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is one, we need to make sure that the user is logged in because we don't want to store a photo to the wrong user's profile. Now, we can argue that if we're at this point, then the user is most likely um, logged in. But just to be on the safe side, before we do anything, we want to make sure that the user is logged in. So actually, let me put check to see if the user is logged in. Right, so after we do that, so once we say, okay, the user is definitely logged in, what do we need to do from that point? Now we need to create access, create an access point to the storage, to Firebase storage. Now, let me just go into Firebase really quickly to show you guys um, what my storage looks like. So that way we can have a better understanding of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Okay, so this is Firebase, my Firebase console for this app. And what I have here is just the empty profile picture, the default profile picture, if you will, that we set up uh, when a user creates an account. And then I have a folder here that says profile images. So what I'm gonna wanna do is save under the unique ID of the user. So this is our user's ID here. What I want to do is save a photo in here. So this, is going to point to the profile photo. Um, and when we get new users, we'll just add, so an, another user is going to be displayed here and that image is going to be our new um, image for that user. So this is the, the setup that we want to have. So let's go ahead and just make a note of where this is stored. So this is in our storage uh, for our app and then under a folder called profile images. We'll need to actually reference that in order to store additional photos or replace the photo that is here with a new photo. So if I go back, so a create an access point for Firebase uh, storage. And that's basically just going to be referencing our Firebase, which we 
already set up up here, our reference for our Firebase storage. And the child, which we discussed earlier, and I'll just go back so you guys see it one more time, but um, it's child is, or a folder within that folder is going to be profile images. Now, we also have within there um, a child ID. So it's going to be stored under the user's ID. So this is our user ID, and this is actually just the image that I've actually updated. All right. So let's get back into it. Now, after we do that, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the image that's inside of here. So we've actually at this point updated or gone into our photo library and updated this image. So this image is something from our photo library when we run this program. What we want to do is grab this data and we want to be able to upload it. So we're gonna want to get the image uploaded from our photo library. All right, so after we do that, the next thing we want to do is upload it to Firebase. Okay, we're looking pretty good now. So let's actually um, look at what we want to do next. No, we've paid a lot of attention to the photo um, and we've kind of neglected that we have a username, a display name, and a bio here. So when this user clicks save, what we really want to happen is that if they uploaded this, 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 or th this, we want to take all of that information and upload our database. Now there's many ways to do this. You can check to see if this is different. You can check to see if the username is different. You can check to see if the display name is different or the bio. But for simplicity's sake, we're going to assume that we're going to upload, when the user hits save here, we're gonna up upload all of this. So that the user may have really only updated the photo, but what we're going to do is we're going to upload the photo, the username, the display name, and the bio. Like I said, there's many ways to do this. And if you want to make it so where if the user uploads the photo only, only the photo is going to be updated. Um, and the same for any of these other fields that we have here. But for simplicity, what we're going to do is we're going to upload to the Firebase storage. So now that we've gone over that, let's go ahead and get straight into the coding. We know exactly what we want to do. We want to check to see if the user is logged in, create an access point for the Firebase. So basically, where are we going to upload this information? The Well, where are we going to upload this photo? Um, get, get the image uploaded from the photo library. Um, upload the Firebase storage with that image we're going to then update the firebase database for that user so each of our users has a profile so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys that just to remind you so if i go into our app and i go to our database as you see our database has a profile um tree here branch here and within that we have a user so this is our only user that we have in the profile so far the user has a bio a display an email and a photo and a name so what we're doing what we're going to want to do is update all of this information um, we're going to want to update the bio if they change it or not so we're going to check to see if that has a value if it doesn't then we're not going to update it we're going to check again for the display the username and um, the photo, uh, as well as, uh, I don't believe we're actually updating the uh, username in our, no. So from here, we're only gonna update the username, the display name and the bio. All right, it looks like we're running tight on time and I don't want this to be a 20 minute tutorial or video. I think this helps explain the first part and this is a good second part. Um, and I promise, I promise, promise the third part will be us actually coding this and implementing some of these things that we talked about. I want to thank you for watching. I urge you to subscribe and um, I will see you next time. Bye.